Domino. We have got Domino's tonight. Oh my God, Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> I got a ranch barbecue pizza. So I've got some chicken strips, some wedges, and then there is my pizza. A whole pizza just for Becky. And she also had the chicken and she had the fries as well, or the wedges, I guess. That's what they call them over there. Here in America, we call them steak fries. I do prefer steak fries. I like them thick, real thick, but not as thick as you, obviously, because you're really thick. And I mean that in a good way, not in like the, ooh, mm, I'm thick, 450, mm, but not like that. Not like that. I mean like thick in all the right places. And you can be thick as a man too. If you're a dude and you're watching this right now and you think, David, I'm not thick. I'm a dude, okay? What are you talking about? That's absolutely, uh, just absolutely terrible that you would say that. No, it's okay to be a man that has really, really thick proportions. Like for instance, good thighs, um, maybe thick shoulder blades. Wow really voluptuous shoulder blades my fellow gentlemen and there's nothing necessarily gay about complimenting another man on his nice body proportion some guys work very very hard for the identifications that they put upon themselves so if you're clothed in immense muscle i will have to give you a compliment wow those look really really good all of them all your muscles they all look good because you put effort and you put work into growing them and that's amazing I love the fact that you prioritize protein and you prioritize lifting weights in order to grow yourself in a very, very dramatic and exorbitant way. That's amazing. Um, instead of being like Becky and, you know, eating Domino's or here in, here where I'm from, we call this the Minos. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy that Becky's got the Minos tonight. Doesn't look very good. I would just say this is ranch pizza. More like some rancid pizza. This doesn't look good at all. Looks like a yeast infection put on cheese. But uh, I'm happy that Becky is enjoying herself. Um, seems like she's been enjoying herself quite a bit. And the fact that she has an entire pizza to herself is crazy. That's actually insane. Um, and I'm not even joking either. I'm pretty sure this is her entire pizza. The way she said it, which was, I got this pizza. And I'm pretty sure, what's her name? Sherry Ann got her own pizza too. And I'm pretty sure Corey. Well, I think Leah though. Lee has been on a health kick, so she has been reducing the amount of calories. Um, so I don't think she has her own pizza, which is crazy to say, by the way, to sit there and be like, yeah, I don't have my own pizza today. Why would you ever have your own pizza? That's insane, bro. You, you, you do not realize that one box of pizza can literally cover three people. There's eight slices. Everybody gets at least two. And then maybe at the end, somebody gets an extra slice, two extra slices there. So I don't know. I just don't understand sometimes how Becky can just so conveniently sit there and go, I have a whole pizza to myself. And you got the chicken and the and the and the french fries too. That's a lot of food. So I've got some chicken strips, some wedges, and then there is my pizza and my for my barbecue. <laughs> She's a cutesy little barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then here's my Coke Zero. Yeah, well, at least it's zero calories. It's big as fuck though. God damn. Leah, are you happy with yours? Yes. I bought some barbecue chicken wings. Yum. Really think about this for a second, dude. Leah's sitting here with barbecue chicken wings. That's it. That's all she's got, right? Let me hold hey. on. Garlic sauce, hopefully. Oh. So yeah, barbecue <laughs> barbecue chicken wings. And Leah, 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 just barbecue chicken wings. And Becky's sitting here with a whole pizza, fries, and she's got the chicken too, as well. And Leah's just got chicken wings with ranch sauce. What do you want? What do you want, huh? That should really put things in perspective. Lee is actually trying to take care of herself within a reasonable amount. Obviously, they're all going to Domino's and they're at a hotel. So naturally, you're going to have to eat out. You're not going to be able to cook in a hotel room unless you're one of those weird people that like, cooks rotisserie chickens in their bathtub. But you're going out to eat. Makes sense. Uh, Sherry Ann looks like she has her own pizza here as well. I just want, I just, I just love that about Leah because like a year ago when I first saw Leah, she wasn't actually trying to lose weight. She was eating a ton of food. She was gaining weight, but now she's like more focused on diet and exercise. You could tell she's been running more. She's been focusing on on the the calorie intake. Corey too, to one degree or another, maybe a little bit less obviously because I don't think Corey really gives a fuck about running and stuff like that. I think he is doing it though for Leah. I have seen him do a few videos where he's been running and things like that. I don't think he's done that recently because he's been traveling quite a bit and I have seen him body slamming quite a bit of pizzas in his mouth, making sure his mouth really feels good with all the ingestion that's going to be throwing it back into his gullet. Um, but you know what? It's okay because if you're only doing it every once in a while, it's not that big of a deal, but I do think Corey has been... He and all these other people have been killing it, Mr. Krabs, absolutely destroying it. You look gorgeous. Well, about that one she right. always i've got chicky a mushroom pizza with stuffed crust okay. absolutely gorgeous. chicky with stuffed crust pizza why does it look like that 
doesn't look appetizing to me, but you know, whatever. Ooh, we all just talked into our. What did Corey get? Is Corey not here? Minos. He's not one of the girls. I always see Corey with them together, dude. They're always spending time together. And the way, you know, when I first saw Corey, I thought he was gay. I thought for a long time, this is a gay man. This is somebody that's just hanging around with women. I saw the platform converse. I saw that he's literally dressed up like he went into his little sister's closet. I don't know why he, he's got so much cake too. Man's literally got some childbearing hips, but I thought he was gay for a really long time, but apparently he's not gay. Eh, you can't convince me though. He might be in a relationship and about to get married to uh, his loving, beautiful wife, Leah. But uh, I think that there's something extra going on there. I think Corey might have had a few times once or twice where something maybe went down that he's not proud of talking about. I think that's probably a, a big I think that's probably a big influence on why he wears the clothes that he does, but in the way that he dresses, which is fine by the way. Most dudes don't really give a fuck about the way they dress, as you can see. But uh, it's 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 pretty apparent that Corey cares a little bit more than most. And don't get me wrong, if you do care about the way that you dress, that just means that you care about it. Maybe you're a metrosexual, maybe you're a little feminine. That's okay. I'm a little feminine every once in a while. I even have new pants on today. Look at these. Wow khakis i mean they're jean khakis right they're jean khakis but still um it's okay to dress well as a man i'm just saying that usually guys that dress well are not the ones that um swing in the direction of heterosexuality which is fine by the way they just got to the not me though i don't dress well therefore i am heterosexual i love the woman anatomy female anatomy mm -mm, good delicioso not penis though penis is gross have a lot so we thought right we're just gonna have our dominoes now but I'm looking forward to such an amazing that weekend, That does not guys. look good. Damn, bro. We got the chin. We got the chin up close here, dude. <laughs> Some people got to pay money for this, bro. I'm getting this shit for free. We have got so Ooh, many good things. Whoa! To Becky, where's the camera going? Calm down. Hello, and I hope you will watch it. And I'm so sorry for that extra large close up of me. But I love you all and have a great day. It's okay, Becky. I enjoyed it. It was uh, optimal. I loved it. It tasted good in my mouth. My metaphorical mouth of my brain. Weekend, guys. Bye. Oh, hi. Makes sense. Uh, they, they, she's been hanging out with Becky. My bad. Becky has been hanging out with Corey and Leah. And as you guys know, every Corey video starts off the same way. Oh my God, guys. I've done it again. I've drunk too much alcohol. And now I'm hungover. The only solution is Mackey's. Go get a burger. That's every single Corey video. And it's just beautiful to see that that's rubbing off. On Becky. Now, naturally, I wouldn't want that to rub off on, on Becky. I think that's probably not a good habit to have. But what do you want? Becky already has tons of bad habits. And somebody that already has bad habits is going to have more bad habits because they're hanging around people with other bad habits. So, guys, bye. Oh. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I woke up and I thought, what is that mysterious bag doing? on the chair it's just on the chair in the corner of the room and then i remembered last night when we got some tea charlie also ordered like a londis or a co-op and she put us together i'm not fragile i'm gonna cry some little bags for when we got up she got me a ham and cheese sandwich cool I uh, hope uh, the ham and cheese sandwich was not left out for very long. I mean, it's okay. I've eaten food off the floor. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, after a few hours as well, I remember one time somebody had ordered a, uh, a vegan pizza. And that had not been left in the fridge overnight, but it had been left on the floor instead. In the box, of course. And the person was like, I'm not eating that. That's No, it's been on the floor. And I was like, are you really not going to eat that? It's, it's good food. You spent all this money on it. No, I'm not going to eat that. It's been on the floor all night, Dave. What are you talking about? So I was like, well, I'm going to eat it, dude. I'm not going to fucking waste that shit. I don't really care that it's vegan. You guys could think I'm gay for eating vegan stuff. But there's no difference between, like, vegan pizza and non-vegan pizza. It's just cheese. Just missing cheese and stuff like that. It did have pineapples on it. I don't know if that, like, really, really seals the deal on my presumed homosexuality. Because I know a lot of people already suspect that I'm gay. Um, and I think that probably if you eat pineapple on pizza, that probably increases the objectivity of somebody being gay. But you gotta think about it like this. It doesn't. And it also makes your vaginal secretions and or male secretions taste better. As, as I think that's what I've been told. But I'm pretty sure that that's a lie. Uh, I'm pretty sure you would have to eat like a lot of it in order for that to even apply at all. Like you would have to eat like several, several pineapples. Um, can you imagine that one guy just going to like, I don't know, Stop and Shop or Walmart or whatever, just skinning pineapples, just sucking them dry, just to be like, I want my semen to taste better. It needs to taste better. My shit tastes like salt. 
some Texas barbecue Pringles. Cool. It really hooked you up. A Dr. Pepper. Yeah, full one too. An Oasis. Wow. And two bottles of water. Yeah, you definitely gonna need that water. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Becky is chronically dehydrated right now from all the alcohol that she's been sucking down all night. It's already bad enough that you got a food addiction. Now, can you imagine like stacking on alcohol addiction as well? Uh, a lot of people don't seem to realize that alcohol has a lot of calories in it. But go off, queen. I could actually cry. <laughs> this is the first time in her life she's ever had friends that have actually given her anything at all. It's really sad actually to say that, but it is what it is on this one. Damn, that that collar is blown the fuck out. Jesus Christ, man. Like a Peter Griffin head coming through that. But yeah, thank you so much, Charlie, for looking after us. It's just a I sandwich. This will be good to eat, but... No mayonnaise on that shit at all, bro? You gonna eat a dry-ass sandwich, bro? I mean, it's all right. It's okay. We all do something every once in a while when we really, really down bad. I can't say that I have never eaten a dry sandwich. But if I have a choice, I mean, th throw some mayonnaise on that shit, bro. Throw some lubrication on there. Dry as fuck. Okay. What, what, do you, what, what is the pointing doing? What is this, like pointing at the, the the Dr. Pepper as if it means anything at all. It's just Dr. Pepper. Why are you like profoundly, I can't believe this, like your brain's about to explode that somebody got you a ham and cheese sandwich, bro. It's a ham and cheese sandwich. They would give them out for free at school lunches. <laughs> Going straight in for the Dr. Pepper. Cool, yeah. No water, obviously. <sighs> your caps are so weird in the UK. Oh, she's so fancy. She's so fancy. <sighs> A little pinky, a little pinky up there at the end there, drinking it down with a little pinky. Good for you, Becky. Showing you're really, really demure, very cutesy, very, very nice on you, Becky. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Let's have some of these. Damn, why are you out of breath? But we had such a good night last night. Liverpool is so good for a night out. Absolutely love it. I'm not too sure what we're doing today. Uh, probably the same thing you did yesterday, right? Just like eat tons and tons of food, go out at night, drink tons and tons of alcohol that has a whole bunch of calories in it. Repeat. Wake up hungover. I've got to get a Mackey's. But we did have such an amazing time. Becky's 32. I hear a lot of people that tell me quite a bit. They go, in my 20s, I had no problem. Like I could spend all night drinking. And by the time the next morning, I I do have a hangover, but usually it's not bad at all. And I can usually get over it within an hour or two. But I hear a lot of people say once I hit around 30, 31, 32, um, that rebound is not the same as it once was. And you're not going to be able to like have that same type of elasticity that you did when you were in your 20s. Somebody can let me know down below because I'm not a big drinker and I don't drink at all. The last time I drank alcohol was probably seven, eight years ago, probably. Um, and I, I was never really a big drinker, probably because I saw a whole bunch of alcoholics growing up when I was uh, a children. So it probably like, imbued something in me to never drink alcohol and stuff like that. But not a big drinker. I don't even do drugs and things like that. I know a lot of people do recreational drugs. Um, I don't do those things, which is fine I, I, for you if you want to do those things, as long as you're doing it um, responsibly and so on and so on. But somebody has got to let me know down below. What's the difference? Um, I know, obviously, as you get older, your body becomes suck dick as you get older. But um, is it really that drastic from, like, year to year? You're just, like, noticing that major of different that major of a difference where you're not going to be able to, like, rebound to the same degree? Um, I don't know. Somebody let me know. Friends that look after you. Do they really look after you? Like, they see you ordering a whole pizza for yourself. They see you ordering literally a pizza and the chicken and then the... the, the, the the wedges on the side as well, and they, they, that's what you call looking after you? That's what they call, huh? That's what you call that? I guess. I mean, you know, tomatoes, tomatoes, so for, for some people is different, but I feel like if I was ordering a whole ass pizza from my own mouth, that I would want my friends to look at me and go, what the fuck is wrong with you, David? That's insane. That's a big ass amount. Are you sure about that? A big thank you as well to anybody that came over. I said hi, I had a picture, absolutely loved meeting you. I need some water now. <laughs> water. I've got to get a water. Oh, that was a that was a deep swallow. You guys heard that like. Oh. 
Okay, shut up. Remembrance Sunday as well. Thinking of everybody. The Lord's Day. The Lord's Day Sunday. Somebody got to let me know. Is it okay to beat off on the Lord's Day? I know that it's also Wednesday. Uh, sorry, I know that it's like no nut November and stuff like that. But like, who the fuck does that? You know, like who's not beating off? Who's not stroking their shit? Like, what do you want? What do you want from me, bro? Okay, that that's ridiculous to have a whole month. I know it's not like a recre. I know it's not like a real holiday recognized by the government, like no nut November or whatever. But People have told me that they're actually not beating off. And I had a friend who was religious for about a year, and he told me that he didn't bust at all. And he was trying to be, like, super religious, not have sex with anybody and things such and so forth. And he said one night that he was sleeping and that he, I guess, had not busted in probably eight months up to this point. And he said that he had woke up glued to his mattress because he had busted in his sleep. He had not known. And he had woke up. He had to peel himself off of the bed, you know. And his bed sheet had come with him when he went to the bathroom to, like, scrub himself down or whatever. He was black. And he told me, he was like, does this count, David? Am I, like, am I, you know, is this against God if I if I busted in my sleep? I didn't know it was happening and stuff like that. I was like, probably not. I don't know. Like, does God look down upon you for busting in your sleep? I don't think he was stroking his shit. I think he maybe felt something when he was moving around or something like that. Maybe he had some silk um, silk pillowcases or silk uh, bed sheets or whatever. Maybe that feels a little bit better. I'm not really too sure. But he had told me he busted his sleep and it was um, insane to him apparently because he said that shit was built the fuck up. Now, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the severity for that or what kind of like um, what kind of punishment is condoned for that. Like, do you go to the church and like, do they talk shit to you? Like, you fucking busted too much. You know, you didn't do it. I don't know exactly how it works. But um, regardless, somebody let me know down below how this works exactly. Can you beat off on the Lord's Day? If you can't, let me know. Hi everyone, welcome to my What Are You In A Day? So we were up super early to go and support Leah on her run. So we got a Starbucks. I got a fudge brownie hot chocolate. I gotta give Leah a lot of credit. She's been losing a lot of weight and I can see it. Her run. She's so got, got the curves. Starbucks. She's got the curves. She's been doing well, man. Um, Obviously, she saw some ways to go but i think it's great that she's putting in that work that hard work to lose the weight a lot of people have been telling me the reason like the main reason she's been actually trying to lose weight is because the wedding dress you know the wedding dress the wedding ceremony she want to look hashtag snatched she wants she wants to look hashtag slay queen edges and that's fine i don't care whatever reason it is that you're losing weight i mean that's even that's a good reason to lose weight like can you imagine taking wedding photos and you're big as fuck gut hanging on the floor and shit like that over your kneecaps that's gonna be hard as hell you and your, you and your grandkids look at that go mommy what is that above your stomach is what do you have literally a, a a ring around your stomach like pluto you know it's gonna be hard to explain but i'm happy that Leah's choosing to lose weight, regardless of the reason. And also, um, I, this is such a beautiful background we have here. Just blue. Just blue, depressing blue. Um, what is this tint you guys have in the UK? What, what, what is this filter you guys have over your sky at every given point in time? This is so depressing to look at. Do better. Do better. Did you guys not have the sun installation? Uh, where's the update over there for the sun? I got a fudge brownie hot chocolate. Disgusting. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely freezing this morning, so this warmed me right up. Then when we got to Leah's oh, Corey looking snatched too. run, I got a hash brown egg and cheese. I just love, like, Leah's going on a run, and then Becky just sits there and eats a sandwich while that's happening. It's just beautiful. And it was so delicious, and I'm so proud of Leah, so big well done. Then on the way back to the hotel, I had a mini M&M. That didn't look very mini to me. That should look like a full-ass cookie, but maybe I don't know. Okay. Oh, these were amazing. And Pringles. And then getting ready, I had some Pringles. These Texas Damn, Bob Becky. I don't know about this makeup. I got to keep it a buck. If you're going to if you're gonna do the makeup... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me amazing. get a good idea. Hold on. And then getting ready, I had some Pringles. I think that if you're going to do makeup like this, it's fine. She do got them Santa cheeks. I think that if she's going to do this makeup, it's fine, but could we blend it a little bit into the neckline um, or whatever you call that? Because it's just so drastic to see a brown face, a Latina face, and then just immediately down into pale white. I think that's going to be really, really jarring for most people to see. Oh, but go off, queen. These Texas barbecue ones, my I mean, you're darker than the barbecue. You're, you're darker than the barbecue chips. Favorite flavor. Then when we went out, damn, we went to dark. Roxy's Ballers, is it called? God I got damn, some Becky. loaded fries, some damn. garlic bread parcels. I'm guessing that's the starter, as Becky always likes to say. Very tasty. The uh -huh. sriracha was a bit spicy on the fries, but still good. Then when we got home, we got a takeaway. I don't even know what it was called. <laughs> just I think it was like burger. smash burgers. Just, just burger. Whatever it is, it's just a burger. I got a 
double patty damn, cheese. Damn, damn, that's big as fuck. One, two, three, four. Four burgers, a couple servings of fries. Everybody got at least one or two burgers, it Burger, looks like. Some chips, some chicken. More than one burger, it looks like. God and damn. This, and what I remember, it was very tasty, but I had to cut Can't some clips out. Can't even fit that shit in your mouth. How the fuck did she go for the bite and it missed? You gotta be really sloshed to try to throw a burger in between your lips and that shit misses. <laughs> you only got one mouth. Uh, sorry for the interruption. I just had to pick up the phone really quickly. It was a random number. It, it said it was a verified number, so I assumed that it was like a real person. But I'm never really too sure on like random people calling me. So whenever anybody calls me, I always put on uh, a random voice. It doesn't really matter because like I don't know who this person is. And if it was somebody I knew, they would probably understand that I do have these random voices and I'm going to be periodically, um, you know, chesting out or whatever. So this person called me up and I was like, Hey, how are you doing today? How are you? And it was an Indian person, which automatically I'm always on high alert because it's like, oh, listen, I'm not racist, but come on, let's be honest here for a second, dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And they called me up and they were like, hey, um, so we have this, like, they knew my name, which is weird. But they were like, hey, um, we, do you live at this address? Like, do you own this house, this house right here? Because we want to, like, we want to put some solar panels on your house. And I'm just looking at this person like... Why would you ever think I own a house? Are you crazy? Are you insane? That You think I own a house? You think I own anything? Like, I'm literally a plebeian. I'm I, I'm poor. Why would I ever? You crazy? And then I hung up because it was like, that's that's so disrespectful. To, to, to ask me if I own this house it wasn't even my house. Some random house. And it was like, do you own this? And I was like, bro, you are so disrespectful. You know nobody my age owns anything besides excruciating and, and jaw-dropping debt. But anyway. Let's get back to the video. I thought, uh, let's go back. Oh, because I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> don't know what happened to my burger, but... It don't was... know what happened to my burger. That should evaporated in your mouth, Vecky. You missed it. Your mouth missed it, and then it just disappeared. It's very good. Anyway, I hope you all have Look, a great... Damn, Becky looks fucking folded. Great day, and I love you all. Love you too, Becky. Hey, everyone, and welcome to my What Are You In A Day? Slightly hungover edition. Ooh, filter's not really working too well right there. Seems like the cookie really fucked it up. I don't know what happened. Yeah, Becky does use filters, uh, smoothing filters. Gets rid of her pores, and I think that it's doing a disservice to her. We all have things about our face that we don't like. It happens. Um, but it's just like, it's really jarring when you see them with and without filters. I don't know why so many people use that smoothing filter. It's really uncanny whenever you see somebody with like, Really, really no pores at all, like a video game character from like 2005. So I woke up not feeling the best. She always, Self she always makes that face whenever she's biting into anything. I don't know what it is. Like, is, is it hard? Like, do you have sensitive teeth? Like, what's going on? Inflicted though. I had one of my mini M and M's cookies. I'm obsessed with these now. They're so starting your day eating a cookie is diabolical for your stomach. I mean, your, your stomach got to be arguing with you all day after that shit, right? Stomach got to be making noises, huffing and puffing, bubbling up. Stay. Then Charlie done us all like a little hangover bag. So I had a little bit of one of the sandwiches, ham and cheese, and some Texas Damn, barbecue. Big as fuck, dude. Jesus Christ, what is this? Pringles. And then I took Corey, Leah, and Charlie to the Baltic Market in Liverpool. I got lamb kofta and halloumi fries. Oh, it was amazing. We also had some Damn. tacos. They you seem to be eating things that are not even on your plate. Where'd you get that stuff? Food though is absolutely. I hate it. Oh, I hate it so bad. It was amazing. We also had some tacos. This is fine. This food though is absolutely. To eat food like this, to take your fingers in your mouth, there's never an excuse to ever do that. If you have the breading on the outside, place the food upon your tongue and then move your tongue within your mouth. There is a technique to this, okay? There's an order of operations. You don't put your fingers in your mouth, okay? There are very few times where putting your fingers in your mouth is okay. And those scenarios are usually sexually oriented. But doing this is just... I hate it, bro. You had the breading. Why would you put the breading... I just, I don't like it. I, I think it's, def I think it's stupid. I think so many people that do this shit is dumb, okay? I'll put my fingers in my mouth after I do something to you, um, but I'm not doing that after I'm, while well, I'm eating food. You, I know that when, a lot of people look at me and they go, David, do you wash? No, I don't. I don't wash my hands, okay? And I know many men that have also periodically beaten off and they give me handshakes and we dap each other up and they'll tell me right after that, like, hey, bro, you know I just beat my shit off? I got literal dick dandruff all over my hand right now. Now you got that, that bus butter shit all over your fucking fingertips. You gay for that. So I've had that happen to me many, many times. Think about what's happening with Becky when you're outside in public opening door handles where you got dudes that are just having beat off blisters directly upon their fingertips touching doors. I mean, at that point, you're basically on some different shit. You might even, you, at this point, you're contracting diseases. Absolutely beautiful. Disgusting.
disgusting, gross, feel bad, feel disgusted with yourself. What is that shit, Becky? Wait, I didn't even know people... Why would you order this shit? Knowing that your mouth is going to be busted at the end of that. That's big as hell. That shit barely fit in your fucking hand. Oh my God, Becky. Look, am I Are these Twix? Why do you have, what are these candy bars in here? And ice cream? God Salted damn. caramel galaxy. In your mouth again? Bubble waffle. Then we went to the cinema at the night time. Went to view in Ellesmere Port. They love this cinema, which I was buzzing about. Because I do Ooh. think this is an elite cinema. Look at these fucking... Dude, he's wearing literally the same shoes. He's got the same basic outfit as his girl. Why does he dress like this, bro? Why do you... <laughs> Why do you like, get your inspiration from your girlfriend, dude? Hi, platform converse, dude. We got our snacks. I went... Very with... zesty. Very, very zesty indeed. I've never seen dudes that wore platform converse unless they were, you know, a little bit some extra. Milky Stars, a Coke Zero, and a Tango Ice Bag. Big as fuck, too. We watched her rec dick. I think that's how you pronounced it. It's really good. They Charlie got trays Lee now? Uncle. They got trays at the theater? Oh, okay. I couldn't believe how comfy the seats were in here. And then on the way How back... does it feel knowing that people have gotten sucked off in those same seats? How does it feel? To the travel lodge. We stopped off at Mackey D's. Of course. Gotta go to the Mickey D's. And I went it. for a double cheeseburger. Of course. You just can't beat one of what these. What else? What else you get, huh? You kept that shit in your purse? Yes. But that was my what I eat in a day. Disgusting. Over You're fucking gross. Feel bad for yourself. You're literally destroying yourself from the inside out. But you know what, Becky? I like you. I do. I do like you. I think you're very pleasant to, to listen to sometimes. You got a great voice, nice eyebrows, but just got to chill back. I mean, you got to stop yourself every once in a while. It's kind of going crazy what you've been doing recently, dude. There's been no pause for you. Then, slightly hungover, should we say. But I hope you all had a great weekend and I love you all. Love Hi, you everyone. Too. Yo. Who you blowing kisses to? Who you blowing kisses to? It's my wife in a day. So we went to Costco before we headed to Manchester. I got a tuna jacket potato. Going to... Tuna? Tuna on a potato? Maybe I'm missing something, dude. But somebody gonna let me know down below. Tuna on a fucking baked potato? That's fucking gross. That doesn't even sound remotely tasty. Are you crazy? That shit looks like cat throw up. I don't know about that one, dude. I can't. Uh, somebody can let me know down below if that shit's good in your mouth. Uh, I've I've seen beans on a potato. I could maybe fuck with that. I've seen chicken. I've seen beef. Tuna, though? I don't know about that one, dude. That don't sound good at all. I'm one of the refill Pepsi Maxes. Ugh. This tuna jacket potato was honestly insane. Why tuna? Like, if you're going out to get any type of food, never get tuna. That's so risky. I get it, it's Costco, so it's like, it's pretty guaranteed it's not going to be bad. But it's, like, it's tuna. Like, tuna's not something you want to risk it, especially if you're outside and there's not a toilet you're going to use. You know, a lot of people, I know, have no issue using public bathrooms. Fuck that, dude. If I'm, I'm, I'm urinating in public bathrooms, of course. But I'm not... I'm not busting it down in a public bathroom. And I know if you order in tuna, there's a there's a, probably a 30 or 40% chance that shit's going to be bubbling in your guts. Probably want to take something less risky, some beef maybe. I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm wrong. Somebody can let me know. I've never been to a Costco before. Um, so I don't really necessarily know if the, the tuna jacket potatoes are good. Somebody can let me know. It looks diabolical. Tuna is one of my fear foods. Really? But I feel like I'm overcoming it. Oh, That's fine. Tuna's good. But it's not like... It's good only in the aspect of, like, why would I eat this otherwise? It's only good if you know you should eat it, if that makes any sense. Time, because I really enjoy tuna. Okay. Damn, Becky. Um, go ahead. When we got to Manchester, we Damn. went to Primark. Damn, there was something underneath that. I thought All that was a time, rapper. Because I really enjoy tuna. Hold up. When we got to Manchester... I thought this was the rapper. This is some kind of... Oh, this is a waffle. Uh, okay, okay. It's a waffle underneath this. All right, all right. Damn, Becky, you kind of going overboard right now, dude. Damn, jack of potato, a big ass cup of hot chocolate, and this whatever the fuck this thing is. Looks like the dude behind the counter did a little something extra to it. Go ahead. Chester, we went to Primark, Pre and of course we had to go in the Grinch Cafe. Now this wasn't my waffle; it was Corey's. I had one bite of it, and it was. Why so are you eating other people's food, and why is Corey okay with you munching down on his shit? I would not be okay with that, regardless of if you're my friend or not. Uh, never in my life have I ever had a friend, and my friend go, "Hey, bro, can I have a bite of your food?" What? No? What the fuck are you talking about? Get your own fucking food, bro. Maybe it's a fry. Hey, bro, can I have a fry or two? All right. But, like, a bite of my food? 
What, you want to suck me off next? No, I'm good, bro. You ain't fucking doing that. So delicious. I got a hot chocolate, which was also amazing. Kind of going overboard, Becky. It's kind of, it's kind of a little bit too much. I don't know what you're doing right now, but it's a lot. Amazing. Then we took a cheeky trip to Nando's on Cheshire Oaks. Okay. I got the new Fanta orange spice new. on butterfly chicken and got some mash and some garlic bread and grilled halloumi. Damn. 10 out of 10 it was. Then we decided to go to the cinema. Again? You went to the cinema again? Back to back, night after night, going to the cinema? Got a tango ice blast. And then Corey, Leah, and Charlie Ugh. have left me. But when I got home, I had some warm wheat bits with some oh, Nutella. I thought I... that was meat. <laughs> it didn't look good. Honestly missed this this week. But I've had such an amazing... On the gut, Stanley's. You remember when these, like, people were literally dying for these? Remember that? When they were, like, selling them out and they were, like, $80 and people were stealing them? And, like, can you imagine literally somebody rolling up on you, pointing a gun at you? Oi, oi, give me what you got. Like, oh my god, let me give you my wallet. No, give me a fucking Stanley. I need the fucking Stanley. That's what I need. Like, it is, can you imagine getting robbed for a Stanley and not your money? He's in time with them, and I'm already missing them so much. But it Becky kind of looking worn down right here, dude. That's, that filter ain't really doing too much. Won't be long till next time. I've also added in my food diary for the day. Food diary for the day. So you got... Calories remaining, goal, food, plus exercise. Okay, so 11 remaining. So you barely, does, what am I seeing here? Remaining, you got 11 calories remaining. How much are you supposed to eat? 2,300? I mean, that's okay. That's a good goal, I feel like, for her. Um, That's fine, I guess. Did she? Damn. Um, That's fine, Becky. You, you're good. Now, some of it may not be accurate. Obviously, yeah, no I'm shit. getting used to it all. But I've tried my best to log what I... I wonder how long this is going to last. Just like that. Just like the bariatric surgery that she was going to get. You remember that? Could. And I just thought, if you like this, I could just start adding it in at the end. Max, fetch my cloak. I found the Grinch Cafe. Hi, everyone. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy. Today, me, Leah, Charlie and Corey have gone to the Arndale Centre in Manchester. We did a little bit of shopping. Found a TK Maxx. Look at this little camera in the case. I thought that was so cute. Charlie was looking at the juicy bags, and then we went into Primark. Primark. Leah tried on some coat. Yeah, that, that coat would be definitely great, especially with all the tanner that she wears. I don't know why she's so insistent on wearing white things, knowing that her face is going to be brown 24-7. Charlie was looking at the juicy bags, gonna and then rub we went off. into Primark. Leah tried on some coat. And then we found the Shrek collection. Charlie was super excited. But me and Corey decided then just to go off to the Grinch Cafe. Before Charlie and Leah joined us, we got some drinks, and then we ordered some of the Grinch stuff. Some cake. It went with the Grinch's heart, which is a hot chocolate, matcha white hot chocolate with whipped cream, pistachio sauce, and a love heart. Damn. It'll show you now. Look at all the decorations. It's how pretty cool. I, I love ha I love Halloween, I love Thanksgiving, and I love Christmas. I know that those three holidays are not celebrate, celebrated by everybody, but I know Christmas, for the most part, is celebrated by most people. And I love the aroma, the feel of Christmas. It's very warm, even though it's, like, very, very cold usually around that time. But, you know, global warming. So, you know, it was, like, literally 70 degrees out, like, a day ago. So, I mean, what the fuck do you want to do about that, huh? There are some benefits, I suppose. How cute are they? Maybe not for kids. Like, it's going to be kind of suck dick to be a, a children and then waking up thinking that it's going to snow and it's like 75 degrees outside. You're going to go outside. It's like basically summer 2.0. And you don't really get the feel, the flavor of the um, the holiday anymore. It's just kind of like hot 24-7. Uh, that's really sad. But I'm not a kid, so I don't have to worry about it, I guess. This was my hot chocolate, which you would have seen at the beginning anyway. Terrible. Corey and Charlie both got the Getting Grinchy With It waffle was green and it had vanilla ice cream, white chocolate, pistachio sauce, dried strawberries, meringue snow, and love hearts. Leah went with the insider snowflake. But honestly, it's just, just that random girl in the back just trying to live her life, dude. Just fucking reading a book while she's enjoying her food. And you got Sherry Ann over here, body slamming copious amounts of food with the, with the ice cream on the side there. So cute and so good when you're shopping. Oh my God, guys, I've got the food. I'm so hungry. Well, I don't really like shopping, so... I'm glad they've always got a cafe when we come. But I, I think that's true. I don't think Becky does like shopping. You don't ever see her going out to actual retailers, like brick and mortar stores. She does buy usually all her clothes off online, which is valid. I don't like shopping either. So I'm me and Becky are on the same boat. You're all one. okay and had a great start to your week. And I love you all. Bye, guys. Love you too, Becky. Love you too. She's awesome. She's great. I love her. She's so nice to listen to sometimes. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. 
Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in mummy's milk, mummy's milk, because I love that. It's one of my favorite quotes of all time. And I know a lot of people that don't like to ingest breast milk because they think it's gross and disgusting and unnatural, which is like the most natural thing. A lot of guys out there are prepared to um, eat their woman's butt cheeks out, but they're not prepared to get a little bit of the leche straight from the uh, front butt. And that's uncanny to me. I don't understand it at all. I would be perfectly prepared to ingest a woman's breast milk if it meant that we were going to enhance the relationship in some particular some particular type of way. Obviously, it had to be the right time of season. You can't just naturally produce it, can you? I don't know. But I would be totally fine with it. I don't have a problem with it at all, dude. Um, I don't even think it's like inherently sexual. It could just be like, oh, no, we're going to die if this doesn't happen or something like that. You could role play it. I don't fucking know. But uh, mummy's milk, the word of the day, beautiful word of the day. Speaking of beautiful... I want to talk to you about something. Um, I'm upset. I'm really upset, actually. It's, it's actually kind of hurting me. <sighs> because the other night, I was looking through my Instagram, and I saw you. And I was actually really upset that you're as beautiful as you are. Because here I am thinking that I'm doing something. I'm, you know, good, doing good skincare. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm washing my legs. And then I see you, and it's just so disrespectful that you could just be as beautiful as you are, as extraordinarily divine as you are, walking around, you know, other people doing all this work, and here you are, default delicious. And that's insane to me. Insane in the membrane, crazy, uncanny how beautiful you are. It needs to stop. I'm sick. I'm sick of doing all this work and then seeing you as delicioso as you are. And I'm, I'm disgusted at myself because I know I could do more, but here you are just default delicious. Anyway, um, miss the person that's default delicious. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, they'll be listed down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.